Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that, well, came out this week in EDM. Uh, we've got 20 songs for this week, 20 songs, and uh, a lot of middle ground songs, a lot of mid songs, I would say, and a lot of house. So let's hop into it. Uh, starting off in the trash category, we've got Element by David Guetta and Morton. What, what is this? I don't understand the song. It's literally two minutes on the dot. Uh, it sounds like something made in 2010 Garage Band, and it's just horrible. All, like, well, the mixing is okay. It's just a horrible track with good mixing. Like, what? What is this? I don't get it. Um, and then up next, we've got Hardstyle Bass by Yoltron and Ty Guys. Uh, I actually laughed out loud listening to this. Um, I did not enjoy it that much. It's uh, it's well, it's it's Hardstyle Bass. And uh, it's it's poorly produced and it's a little cringe, honestly. So that's, I just think it's that. So, uh, and then moving into the bad category, actually we're not. There's no bad songs this week, I, other than the trash ones. But uh, we'll move into the meh category, and there is a lot. So let's hop into it. We've got "Restraint" by Wooly and Calcium. A very interesting dubstep track with both a brooding bassline and prominent high melody. But uh, honestly, pretty torn on this one. In general, I think it's really just okay. It may teeter down to lower, which is why I have it at the, the bottom here. But um, yeah. Then we've got Unbreakable by Dirty Audio and Gom. Uh, very grimy dubstep that I could see myself enjoying in the right context. But in the setting for now, I just think it's here. It's, it's okay. And then we've got Lights Out by Fairlane and Kala. The V EP is out now. And uh, personally, I really dislike the kind of early 2000s pop rock vocals. And paired with a fairly linear mellow dub drop, I just thought this one was, this is just meh. So uh, and then we've got Now by Kirby. Uh, stylistically, the synth on this track sounds like it's dying. And that's like kind of a good stylistic thing, kind of not. It's weird. Uh, but otherwise, it's Kirby's signature, like, clubhouse sounding track. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Then we've got My Heart's on Fire by Vice Stone featuring Quicksilver. Uh, much stronger than their more recent stuff, I would say, for sure. But uh, the main synth lines and, and all their songs from the past year just feel so weak. I don't get it. Um, they're trying to mimic a popular kind of house sound rather than be a, uh, <laughs> than create the sound themselves, really. And so it's it's just here in meh. Even though it could have been worse. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, they've got Tell Me by Dusty Cloud and Dark Cities. Uh, it's a standard kind of Dusty Cloud track that's a deep sounding bass house track uh, with constant repetition. It's it's pretty mid. It's pretty much that. Then we've got Protect Me by Kid and Yadosan. Yadosan? Yadosan? Uh, John refusing track that can really only be defined as like future um, or futuristic. Another short track that's very playful but doesn't really offer a whole ton, especially with a short run time there. So then we've got Purgatory by Atlians and Sudden Death. Very unique, and I'll say creative track here. Uh, I think the cutting out of the vocals and the and the track as a whole is a stronger in concept idea rather than an actual fully realized song. But uh, I think if you like the kind of more experimental out there kind of style tracks, you might like this one quite a bit. Then we've got Worst Day by Elenium featuring Max. Uh, a return to a stronger form of Lenium with this, I would say. Uh, still a little weak, uh, but uh, the vocals didn't pack a real punch and the production was fairly subdued. But um, I have not been the biggest Lenium fan as of late, so I will, uh, I'll say this one is, is okay. Okay, which is a big compliment, honestly. So heading in the right direction. Then we've got Sleeper by Godlands. The Drift Funk is here on Monster Cat, which is a kind of derivative of hip hop and trap. And um, it's a fun and interesting sound, especially the kind of very clean synth line. But uh, I also don't really care for it at the same time. It's like, oh, I like the idea, but it's also like, oh, I like the idea. And then that's it. I don't love the song. So uh, then we got Slip Away by Arlo and Kid Spirit. Uh, <laughs> this song, best way I can describe it is, it sounds like if the Chainsmokers were competent producers, it would be this. It's still fairly basic and very commercial friendly, um, but just sounds better than the Chainsmokers, I would say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, then we've got The Devil You Know by Cashmere featuring Mickey Blue. I never really got the appeal of Cashmere specifically, but uh, I can start to see it with this track. Some solid vocals here and the production is at least, at least sounds like it, it's trying here. I, I did not love 
that last LP from him last year. And so this is, it sounds, it's sounding better for me. There's some stuff, it's, it's getting better. Uh, and then we've moving on to the good category. We've got a couple songs. We've got Party, the Tales remix originally by Tsunami featuring Skylar Coco. Uh, a more subtle laid back remix uh, that makes the original miles better, I would say. And uh, while well, still at the same time, not overdoing the kind of remix of it. So solid track there. Then we've got Right Here by Cage, a classic deep, Bass house cage, whatever you want to call it, the fusion in between the bass. That no, I'm not gonna say that. Um, uh, playing with more prominent melody line in the off drop here with a, a string section, which I really really liked, and I think this is actually one of his better tracks as of late. And then we've got the I'm Good Blue uh, Reaper remix uh, by David Guetta and BB Rex. Originally, I did not like the original at all. I thought it was horrible. I thought it ruined the original song. Uh, but uh, it almost makes fun of the original with that kind of fake drop at the beginning of each full drop. And uh, it actually redeemed a pretty crappy song, I would say. This, this song needed more of a punch, and it got it with this. So we've got Laser Beam by Sullivan King and, oh sorry, Laser Beam the Sullivan King remix originally by Ray Volpe. Um, my favorite aspect of Sullivan King has always been his production and so I haven't really loved his screaming a lot. Um, and so when there is a track that has more of his production and less of his screaming, I, I really like it. So uh, this one uh, is well paced, well structured track and uh, solid all around. Now we've got Never, Never Learn by Seven Lions featuring Maya. Uh, the Beyond the Veil EP or LP, wow, album is out now. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the best tracks from the LP. I'm not fully done listening to it yet, but uh, Maya's vocals are both raw and well mixed and the production isn't too derivative as Melodub can seem to get as of recent in this day and age. And our top track of the week is still just in good for me personally. It's Dilemma by Stonebank and Bianca. Uh, this one really grew on me over the week for sure. Um, it's a testament to Stonebank's ability to produce anything he really wants. And he's got a trap banger with this. Um, Bianca's vocals got better and better the more I listened to it personally. And uh, one of the better Stonebank, Stonebank tracks as of late other than Good For Me, which was fantastic. But um, And then, yeah, no standout track sadly this week, but... Um, as a reminder, all the songs are in a Spotify link below, so if you want to catch those and listen to those in that area, if you use Spotify, then do that. But uh, other than that, I'd love to hear any and all comments what you think of these tracks, these 20 songs this week. But I've been Botei Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.